Good morning guys, today we will have an experiment about osmosis, dissolving eggshells with vinegar. So first thing is, what is osmosis? Osmosis is the spontaneous net movement of solvent molecules through a selectively permeable membrane into a region of higher solute concentration in the direction that tends to equalize the solute concentration on the two sides. Our materials are 3 eggs, then 3 glasses large enough to fit the egg plus liquid. 3 butter knives, white vinegar, about 3 cups, distilled water, light corn syrup, slatted spoon, or spoon, measuring cup, measuring spoon, 1 tablespoon and 1 half teaspoon, half teaspoon, then sticky notes and marker, then scale, it's optional. So, procedure. And there's a note, it's okay to touch the eggs, but remember to wash your hands afterwards to avoid any nasty surprises. So, procedure number one, place one egg in each glass, pour in enough vinegar to cover each egg. Bubble will start to form around the egg and it will float up. So, we will start the procedure number one. We will place one egg in each glass. I mean, pour enough vinegar to cover each egg. Pour. As you can see, the bubble starts up then procedure number two put the three glasses in the refrigerator and allow to sit for 24 hours since we will allow this to refrigerate for 24 hours we will continue our experiment tomorrow then we'll refrigerate these three eggs with vinegar it's already 24 hours since i have refrigerated our eggs then this time as said to the procedure number 3, replace with fresh vinegar and let sit in the refrigerator for another 24 hours. Repeat this process until the shells are fully dissolved and the only membrane remains. This should take about 2 to 3 days. At this time, we will pour the old vinegar and we will replace it with fresh vinegar. So, we will slowly pour. Maybe it takes one more day since the shells are not fully dissolved. So we will replace it with fresh vinegar and refrigerate after this. So I have done replacing with fresh vinegar, this time we will refrigerate this again for 24 hours until the shells are fully dissolved. So we will go back at 24 hours. It's been 2 days since we refrigerate our eggs, so I think our eggs are shellless already. As you can see, there were no more shell, it's transparent. Then let us proceed. So procedure number 4, gently remove the eggs using a slatted spoon and rinse with tap water in the sink. Rinse out the empty glasses as well. So I think we can do this with our bare hands. So let us rinse the vinegar. Let us rinse this. this for a moment then procedure number five 
did lay for the Shilis X aside for a moment on the plate. So, as you can see, it has did this for a moment on the plate. Procedure number six. Prepare three different sugar water solutions as follows. Leveling with sticky notes. Glass one, hypertonic, then glass two, isotonic, then glass three, level it with hypotonic. So, let's continue with glass one, which is hypertonic. Level heart hypertonic, pour in one cup of corn syrup. So, let us pour one cup of corn syrup in glass one, which is hypertonic. So, that's it. This time we will add one and one half tablespoons of corn syrup to the glass to isotonic. One, and then we will measure one half tablespoon. So that's it. Then we will add distilled water. Then we will pour it into the glass and stir to dissolve. Is. Then glass tray, label hypotonic. This is a tray. Pour in one cup of distilled water. Gently put one chili egg in each of the glass and let sit in the refrigerator for another 24 hours. So let us pour one cup of water in the hypo hypotonic solution. We will put one chili egg in each glass, then let us sit for 24 hours in the refrigerator. So we will put the chili's eggs. As you can see, this is the size. Then, in the last number 2, which is the isotonic. Last number 3, isotonic. So, let us refrigerate this for another 24 hours. And we will see what will happen in our experiment. Welcome back. It's been 24 hours since we refrigerate our eggs by putting different solution. We'll see what happened in the hypertonic solution. So first, let us pour a corn syrup. As you can see in the hypertonic solution, the egg shriveled up, it is smaller than yesterday. Then let us see in the isotonic solution. As you can see, the egg in the isotonic solution stayed the same size. There was no net movement of the size. It's just the same yesterday. Then in the hypotonic solution, it has also be what what happened in the egg. So let us pour the water first. As you can see in the hypotonic solution, the egg grew in size. It was bigger compared to the size yesterday. So these are the eggs of the different solution. The hypertonic solution which the egg shriveled up then the isotonic solution which stayed the same size and the hypotonic solution which grow in size so i think i've done with my experiment in the osmosis by dissolving the shell of the eggs so thank you